Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly horoscopes for the week ahead. So this is for the energy Monday the 7th of June all the way through to the 13th on Sunday. So we're going to do this. So what do we need to know? So we're going to keep it very simple. We're going to use the divine masculine messages of love to see what the energy is around twin flames and what your person is wanting to say to you. And we're going to do the masculine and power messages and the feminine power messages. So this one's going to be connected with work and this one's going to be connected with love and home and anything you need to know. So take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't and have a great week ahead. Send you so much love. So let's do this then. So thank you, angels. And all the signs are going to be time stamped in the description below. So we're going to start with Capricorn. Welcome, Capricorn. So what do you need to know for work this week? Okay, what do you need to know for work this week? You are loved more than you know. Wow. You are loved more than you know. So at work this week, you know, you are appreciated. I feel that you need to know that even if you're working for yourself, you are appreciated and you are loved more than you know. So, you know, don't think that you're not if, you know, you're feeling hard done to or overworked or stressed out. You are appreciated and loved more than you know. So what's happening with you in your personal journey? Feel the power of love. There it is again. What a beautiful message. So the angels are very clearly saying to you in all areas of your life, work, home, love, life, you are loved more than you know. So feel the power of love this week and let it kind of flow all over you. So for twin flames, what do we need to know? I was born to be with you. So remember that, okay? You were born to be with each other. That's why you've come. That's why you've entered into this physical lifetime to be with each other. You were born to find each other, to be with each other, to feel the power of love. So feel that this week. So feel that love flowing to you from your twin. Feel it in your heart space and know that you are loved so much more than you know. So this week for you, it's all about love, feeling the power of love, experiencing the power of love and knowing that you are safe. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Okay, next sign. Next sign. Here we go. We've got Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. Remember, right now, Gemini, I'm doing your daily readings. So let's see what you need to know in love. Uh, no, in work and in love. But yeah, look at this. I thought it would be about love. Trust in the power of love. So what the angel's saying to you in all areas of your life, work, you know, career, your service, your personal goals and dreams, your home life, your family and your love life with your twin, trust in the power of love. Trust that love will always guide you. Love will always show you, will always lead you where you're meant to be. Especially if you're thinking about making a change at work right now or, you know, you want to do something that you love. So trust in the power of love. Trust in that feeling. You know, the things that you love to do, the things that you're passionate about are the things connected with your purpose. So focus on those things and trust in the power of love. So regarding love, look at this, trust in divine timing. So two beautiful messages, trust in the power of love and trust in divine timing. So, you know, if you're wondering when it's going to happen for you, if it's going to happen for you, how it's going to happen, let that go and trust the universe to sort it out because divine timing is at work in your life. So what do we need to know about love right now? I'm sorry for everything I've done. So apologies. And we've got, I will come forward to you in time. So it feels like your person will come forward to you in time with an apology. So trust in divine time. Trust in the power of love. Work on things you love this week. And you know, you won't stress over anything because your person does care and does love you. And they are apologizing to you. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry for treating you badly hurting you I will apologize and I will come forward to you in time so trust that communication is coming it's coming soon in divine timing so this week relax breathe trust in love and know that you are safe I hope that helps have a great week and I'll see you soon wow okay next sign we're doing is Aquarius welcome Aquarius so what do you need to know so let's get a message for you at work this week here we go jumping out you can change your life. Wow. You can change your life. So if you want to change your job, if you want to become self-employed, if you want to do something for you, now's the time. And the angel saying you can do this. You can change your life. It's only fear and ego and worry that holds things back. Or if people are saying you can't do that or you're not qualified enough or you're not good enough for that, you can do this and you can change your life. 
We've also got you were guided by angels as well. So the angels are guiding you to change your life in all areas of your life. Maybe it's time to release something else. You know, maybe you're thinking you want to move. You want to release that karmic partner. You want to release that job. You want to start again. Whatever you want to do, you can change your life. And you're being guided by angels. So in your twin flame journey, look at this, trust me. So trust your twin flame to do what they need to do. Okay, trust that they will change their life, that they're being guided to and all as well. But I feel this also a big sign because this one's jumping from your higher self to trust yourself, that you can trust yourself to change your life, that you are being guided by angels and you can trust in that. So don't give up on me. So your person is saying, don't give up on me. Trust me. I want to change my life. I'm being guided what to do. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow, very powerful messages flowing in this week. So next sign then. Next sign we're going to do is Virgo. Welcome Virgo. So let's see what the angels want you to know. So what's happening for you at work this week? Look at this jumping out the deck here. We've got it's okay to be alone. Wow, it's okay to be alone. So Virgo, maybe you want to be alone this week. You know, maybe you want to have some time off or some time for you. You want to retreat or even go on holiday. It's okay. It's okay to be alone. Whatever you need this week, give it to yourself because that's okay. So I feel, you know, you're kind of in hermit mode. You're doing some deep thinking. You're working out what you want. And it's okay to be alone. You know, if you're in separation from your twin, you know, if you're single, it's okay. Raise your vibration. So to move things forward, to feel better, to feel okay, raise your vibration, work on gratitude, go in nature, have some time off, switch off your phone, come off social media, you know, do things you enjoy doing that will raise your vibration. And that's the key to moving things forward for you this week. We've also got, I want you. So your person is saying, I want you, I want you. Okay. I'm thinking about you. I feel also if they are quiet this week, you know, it's okay, it's okay for you to be alone, for them to be alone, because they want you and they're thinking of you, so raise your vibration, and look at this, you are my future, so your person is saying to you, Virgo, I want you, you are my future, you know, but I need to work it out, I need to be alone to process and find out how I can change, what I need to do to change, to bring this into reality, so it's okay to be alone, you're not going to be alone forever, Virgo, Raise your vibration, focus on love, not fear. Do what's right for you this week and the universe will take care of the rest. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Okay, next sign we're doing cancer. And I'm a cancer, so I'm really looking forward to this reading today. So what do we need to know? What's going on? Solutions are coming, especially at work or in love. So, you know, solutions, things are starting to make sense. Things are becoming clear. If there's been chaotic energy around you, the light is becoming clear. It feels like for you, Cancer, this week, the light is at the end of the tunnel because love is the answer to all of your questions. So no matter what, love is the answer. The solution that you are seeking is love. So if you're stressing over your twin flame journey, focus on the love. Okay? If you're worried about work, do things you love. Okay, focus on love, not fear. And the Kundalini is rising between you and your twin. So you're going to feel the heat. There's going to be some passion around this week, fire. You know, if you're connecting with each other physically, it's going to feel very sensual and loving and sexy. So, you know, feeling passionate, feeling passionate about what you want, feeling passionate about a solution, about making a decision, working on your dreams and feeling this entwined energy of love between you and your twin. So there's definitely things changing, moving forward. Remember, whatever's happening this week, the heat is on. You may feel the hotness, the hot flashes. You may have to waft yourself down. But love is the answer to all of your questions. So don't worry about anything. Solutions are coming. You're being illuminated. You're being shown the truth. All is well. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Scorpio, welcome. So this is your weekly reading. So what do you need to know for this week ahead? Here we go. We've got divine masculine power. Wow. So this is a big sign for you, Scorpio, that your divine masculine is coming into power. 
they're feeling stronger more like the emperor on this journey instead of the page so they're hopping forward to your field communication could come in they're kind of showing you their feelings and how they feel so let's start with love so what's going on in love we've got i want a family with you i'm transforming and our passion is real wow so they're in their power. So this is beautiful because the same to you, Scorpio. You know, I've been working on me. I've been transforming. And that's allowing me to know that our passion, our love and our connection is absolutely real. So that's helping your twin to become in their power. And they are saying to you, I want a family with you. I want to build a life with you. I want you. So they want you. And this is also you being in divine masculine power connected with work or taking control making decisions, working out what you want, finding your way, becoming the star of your own show, not letting anybody else to have control over your journey. So a very powerful week for you. You're feeling strong, powerful, ready. You're moving forward. You're taking control of your life and things are falling into place. Have a great week. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Okay, next sign then, we've got Aries. Welcome, Aries. So this is your weekly reading. So what's happening at work for you this week? Wow, we've got two coming out. We've got remember what matters to you. You are not alone. So you are surrounded by heavenly assistance this week. You're not going to be feeling alone either because you may be around people, people that love you, people that care about you. Remember who you are. Remember what you want. Remember what matters to you. So maybe you've been in a job for a long time and it doesn't matter anymore or you need to make it matter. Or maybe, you know, you want to work on your soul mission. Remember what matters. Maybe you're so engrossed in work this week. You know, you forget about everything else. So think about what matters to you. That could be your twin flame. It could be your children. You know, remember you're not alone. You may feel alone, but you are not alone because you are surrounded by love. We've also got calm your mind. So calm your mind this week, Aries. I feel that. I feel you're going to be either very, very busy. And, you know, you, you've got to remember what matters. You know, you could be working a hundred like million hours. You know, you're busy. You're keeping all the plates spinning. You're busy with other things. Calm your mind. Remember what matters. Take a deep breath. You're not alone. Okay, feel the power of love around you. And we've got our love is real. So you're being reminded in every moment this week by your twin flame that the love is real and that they want you. You know, so someone is saying to you, I want you. You know, this is about you realizing that all is well and you know, that's what matters, the connection. So if you're cross-watching for a masculine, I feel that they may be super busy this week. So if they are ignoring or ghosting you for any reason, don't take it personally. They've got a lot going on. Calm your mind. They need to calm their mind. They need time out. They're doing way too much. So they need to slow down. So the message this week for Aries is slow down. There's no need to rush all as well. I hope that helps, okay? Libra, welcome. So this is your weekly reading. So what's the energy around you this week? We've got go out in nature and just do it. Wow. So when you're in nature this week, you're going to receive a message to do it, to go for what you want, to just do what you want to do. That could be making a change you're guided to make, reaching out to your twin, you know, allowing their love flow to you. You'll know what to do. So go out in nature. Maybe at work this week, you're going out in nature or if you are really busy at work or you're focusing on work or you want to know what to do about work, go in nature and you'll receive the answer to your question. Regarding home and love, a few cards jumping out, you are the sun so shine. So if the sun's out this week and you, you know, you're feeling the warmth of it, go in it. Okay, and remember that you are like the sun, shine bright and clear your space because something new is flowing in. Clear the clutter. Get ready for change. So the cards on the floor, okay, we pick them up here. Quite a few here. We've got, well, they're saying don't break your back, you know. There's another card over here. So if you feel like you're working hard this week, then don't break your back. Do things slowly. Relax and breathe. Get ready for what's ahead. Trust in divine timing. All is well. Stand your ground. You know what you want. You know your power. So ask the universe for what you desire and trust the answers that come to you, especially if you're gaining those answers from nature when you're out in nature. Trust your intuition. You are loved beyond measure. There's nothing to fear. You are an earth angel. So, you know, you're being guided to work on your dreams, your goals, to focus on service. 
you deserve love so know that you do be the star of your own show and raise your vibration so the angels are saying to you remember your power raise your vibration by going out in nature by feeling connected with source by asking for what you want and your twin is saying to you i love you so there's nothing to fear i love you i want you our future is set clear space so you're feeling that love that love is flowing to you because they are sending it to you you may even get communication this week but if you get any kind of stress whatsoever go out in nature and focus on the love because that's what's real raise your vibration clear your space and get ready for what's to come have a great week sending you so much love and i'll see you soon wow leo welcome so this is your weekly reading from monday to sunday what's the energy around work this week for you you are loved more than you know. Wow, you are loved more than you know. The angels appreciate you. I feel that, you know, maybe you're working with someone that really does care about you and want what's best for you and, you know, loves the work that you do. Or this could be heavenly love, you know, being protected, being supported. No more delays. And that's the message coming through. No more delays. You are experiencing both energies. So you may be experiencing both masculine and feminine energy this week. You may be feeling ascension. They're giving me head pressure. So if you're feeling pressured in any way, relax, take time out. Remember that you are always experiencing both energies and you have the power to do what you want to do. All paths lead home, so there's nothing to fear. In other words, it doesn't matter what way you go, what you do, what your twin is doing. You'll always be guided to each other because nobody compares to you and they see signs about you. So signs are coming to the both of you this week. You've been shown what to do, that the love is real. The signs are showing you that the love is real, that nobody compares to you. So don't stress over a karmic partner or worry about the situation because all paths lead home and the angels want you to know that. So you are loved more than you know. Focus on the love. Love is what's real. Love will keep you strong. Nothing compares to you. You know, there's only one of you. And when God made you, he threw the molds away. So shine light, you know, shine bright your light. Shine brightly. You are safe. I hope that helps, okay? Next time we've got Sagittarius. I really feel a fast-paced energy flowing into your week, okay? And around this whole week for everyone. So at work for you, we've got trust yourself. So at work, trust you. You can do what you want to do. You are capable. You are strong. The only limits are the ones you put on yourself. So trust yourself to break through barriers, to make decisions. They're giving me toothache. So any decisions you need to make this week, trust yourself to make them. You'll always be guiding what to do. You're gaining direction from above. So you're not alone. You know, you're being shown the way you're being guided. Trust in that. And you are the sun so shine. So shine your light bright. Remember that you are the warmth. You have power in you. You can be, do and have whatever you desire. And your person may need space right now to heal. So if your person needs space, trust yourself. You work on you. Know that you are strong. Don't take things personally. Shine brightly like the sunshine that you are. You are their sunlight. You're guiding them home. And you are gaining direction from above. So if they need space, if they need time, it's to move towards you. So trust yourself. You are loved. You are supported. There's nothing to fear. Angels are all around you and you are safe. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Pisces, welcome. This is your weekly reading. So what do we need to know this week for Pisces? Show the world the real you and step into your divine masculine power. Very powerful. So there's also one moving here. Your past does not define you. So show the world who you really are. Stand your ground. Be you. Be authentic. Because your past does not define you. So it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, how you've behaved, the things you've done, the jobs you've done. What matters is now. Show the world who you are now. And that gives you power. That steps you into your power, that allows you to shine and then your twin flame will follow suit. This is also a big sign that, you know, your twin flame is stepping into their power through your power because you are mirrors of each other. So remember, the past is gone, it can't be changed, it doesn't define you, it makes you stronger. You've got this and heaven has got you. So anything you're going through this week, Pisces, you're not alone. You are not alone. The angels are all around you, guiding you on. And we've got, I am learning who I am. So you're both learning. You're learning and you're breathing and you're healing. So you're learning who you are. Your twin is learning who they are to become 
in their power. So step into that power this week. Remember your truth. You are a leader. You are capable of great things. You have got this because heaven has got you. So breathe and heal. So anything you go through this week, breathe, relax, calm your energy down, go within and know that the past has gone. It can't be changed. It can only be accepted, but you are safe. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Taurus, welcome. So let's see what the energy of the week is for you for work. So at work, we've got, if you believe it, you can achieve it. I love that one. So whatever you want to do, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. You can do this. So whatever you want to do, go for it. So the angels are saying, go for it. If you want to do it, do it, but also take time for you. These ones are moving. Move forward fearlessly in your life. Don't be afraid. Go forward for what you want. Maybe go for a drive. Maybe that's what you want to do. If you're thinking, I want to learn to drive. Or I want to drive somewhere. I want to work somewhere that I can drive to. I want to go away somewhere. Do what feels right for you. Go for it. Follow your heart. You'll be shown what to do. And you are forgiven. So you are forgiven for past mistakes. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. The signs you see are real. So you've been shown here that all is well. There's nothing to fear. The signs you see are real. And I will love you for the rest of my life. So you know that. You know you'll love your twin forever. They know that they love you forever. And the signs are showing you that. So trust the signs you see. Take time for you. Do things for you this week. Go forward fearlessly for what you want. Magic is coming in, action and power. And I feel things are turning around in your twin flame journey. You know, they're realizing that they're always going to love you. They're seeing signs about you because the signs are real. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.